Today's medication is called butorphanol, and it is also known by its brand name as Stadol. Now, I will just give a disclaimer. Stadol has since been discontinued. A lot of times you'll still hear it referred to as Stadol in the U.S., but there have been a few other brand names created outside of the U.S. As of right now, it's just referred to by its generic name, which is butorphanol. It falls under the class of synthetic opioid antagonist and agonist. Its mechanism of action, it antagonizes and also agonizes the opioid receptors. It disrupts the traditional pain pathways, and this decreases pain perception and produces pain relief. So it's very similar to the medication called nalbefine, which I'll go ahead and link up in the right-hand corner, but it's different from fentanyl, morphine, demerol, our typical narcotics that we see a lot out in the field, and that's mainly because it doesn't just agonize opioid receptors, it also antagonizes them. Your indications are going to be moderate to severe pain, and you will see it used in the hospital, usually in labor and delivery, also for sedation purposes during surgical procedures or after surgical procedures. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure you're abiding by your local protocol and staying within your scope of practice. The dose is typically between 1 to 2 milligrams IV or IM. It could even be in a nasal spray. Pediatrics is not recommended. Your contraindications are going to be narcotic dependence and excessive CNS depression. And the reason for the narcotic dependence is specifically because of the antagonistic effects. We don't want to send this patient into withdrawals. Adverse reactions can include nausea and vomiting, hypotension, altered mental status, syncope, bradycardia, central nervous system depression, and sedation. Butorphanol can and will interact with benzodiazepines, other narcotics, sedatives, hypnotics, and even alcohol, and it does it by increasing the already present central nervous system depression. It's usually one milligram per one milliliter. And just a few side notes about butorphanol. Butorphanol is not a medication that you will typically see in the pre-hospital setting. However, it can be seen or used in the hospital. The onset is rapid and it doesn't have a huge effect on blood pressure like many narcotics. And that kind of goes back to possibly the antagonistic effects of it because as we know, typical narcotics will depress the central nervous system a lot and that will cause hypotension, but it isn't as big of a worry because of the antagonistic effects. Use with caution in patients that have impaired respiratory function. And as always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!